a suit machine gun. Okay, I can see by the mechanism that this is an, a toy. Has a magazine. It's an airsoft magazine, shoots pellets. The problem that we have with this, it must have a orange tip that is attached to it that you cannot remove. This one doesn't have it, this is just painted. So that's a no-no for us. And plus, this is a very realistic looking gun. When this realistic gun is in the hands of a child, if a police officer comes by and sees somebody pointing this gun to kids, what do you think that this officer will do? Will actually meet the guy with the gun with deadly force. There is no need in our society to have realistic guns in the playground. There is no need for it. If we cannot confiscate it by the orange tips, I see made in Wisconsin, United States. If it's made in Wisconsin, United States, what is coming from Europe? Also, they have the trademark. So we have some grounds to actually confiscate this gun as an IPR, intellectual property rights violation, or look for more information about, you know, how we can go around and trying to stop this gun from reaching our population. Let's see what else we have. So now we're gonna x-ray these big parcels. Okay, what we have here. Mm. This one seems that the middle part is very dense. The parcel is coming from Poland and it's going to LA. And we have here puzzles. Whoa. Okay, this looks like something else. So what I'm gonna do now is gonna put my mask, make sure that we take all the precautions. So I'm gonna just make a little cut. So let me just rip this. And bingo. I see peels here. And we have another one. More peels here. And here we go. That's the way. Same. So I'm going to smash them and then test them to find out what substance we have here. Now we've got NDMA. We're gonna wrap everything up, we're gonna set everything where it belongs, and we're gonna set it for control delivery. So the bad guy, when somebody's knocking at the door, might be a federal officer where you're gonna spend a long, long time in the penitentiary.